surprise, surprise, reactors, we got ourselves a new trailer for The Penguin, a spinoff show of the 2022 film The Batman. What do you guys think about The Batman? Sound off in the comments down below. Is it the best Batman film that you've ever seen? Sound off there. For me, it's up there. I still have The Dark Knight as my favorite Batman film of all time. And then right below it is The Batman. But the discussion between which film is better, The Batman and The Dark Knight, will go on forever. But can you believe that the sequel to The Batman is supposedly not coming out until 2026? Mind you, that film came out in 2022. So you're telling me the only thing that's going to help us through this gap, this two year gap from 2024 to 2026 is none other. How you doing? I'm Oz. The Penguin. We got ourselves a teaser trailer. Colin Farrell. It's about that time. It's time to reel it in. Well, Back in Gotham. There's a gangster. Real old school type. Rex Calabresi. He's a big deal. The next she chapter in the Batman side. You saw you on the street, I call out to you. When Batteries. I'm 14 or something, he has a heart attack and dies. Still holding a cigar. In my neighborhood, they throw a parade in his honor. A freaking parade. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't fancy, but it was a gesture. Oh, the final shot in the Batman with this character. The show of love, of what he meant. Ah! Clancy Brown. Woo! Hell yeah. Can you imagine to be remembered like that? He wants that. He needs that. I hear you. I'm gonna reel this one in. For sure. Well, there you guys have it, people. You know what to do. Sound off in the comments. What do you guys think about this teaser trailer? I'm still waiting for that full-length trailer. But this reeled me in. Did it reel you in? Are you excited for this film? We had the Batman. Now we have the spinoff show, The Penguin. I believe we're getting an Arkham Asylum type of show down the line I believe Matt Reeves will help produce it just like um, actually matter of fact I think he's directing some episodes or is this all entirely Matt Reeves with the penguin if so fantastic but I wonder if um, Robert Pattinson's Batman will make a cameo no I am I got an idea I want to see the penguin but like I said that trailer reeled it in for me. I'm excited. I'm ready to see the origin story. I believe they will touch on that with the Penguin and how he has come into power. And seeing how he has to readjust, change up his game plan, move around just to get to where he wants to be or where he sees himself like he was talking about within this trailer. Talking about how people threw a parade for that guy. He wants that. He needs that. So it's going to be really interesting to get this character study on the Penguin. And I think Colin Farrell will do just as good as he did within the Batman. He was phenomenal in that movie. Not only was Robert Pattinson good as the Batman or Jeffrey Wright good as Jim Gordon or Zoe Kravitz good as Selena Kyle along with Paul Dano as the Riddler. Colin Farrell nearly steals every scene. You can say he stole every scene within the Batman. Maybe we can talk about what they did to my partner's face. Holy God, what are you showing me? His head. Come on! Open your eyes! And now the reward is here for his character and he gets his own show. And it looks, it looks action packed. It looks gritty. And that is what we like. That is what the Batman gave us, a gritty take on the character. We didn't get that much of the playboy Bruce Wayne. We got Detective the Batman, something that we haven't seen quite a lot within Batman films. And Matt Reeves nailed it 
with the Batman. I haven't seen that film in quite a while, but I've seen it, I believe, five times in theaters. I saw a very early screening, I believe on a Wednesday night of that week of the release of the Batman, and then I went back and saw it Thursday night with uh, my family, and then I decided to go by myself and see it. Mind you guys, it's not bad to go see a film by yourself. It's a fun time, um, but it's all up to you. And then I saw it again. I think I saw it again Saturday too. I I, I might have, or maybe not. I can't remember. I saw. It. I I spend most of my time in theaters, to be honest with you guys. But uh, yeah, I did watch it as soon as it hit on Max. I believe I reacted to it and posted my highlights on TikTok. I think a long time ago. That film feels like forever, but. I love the Batman, and I'm pretty sure you guys do too, and I'm pretty sure you're excited for this because this trailer looks good. Now we gotta see what that full length trailer will look like. Sound off in the comments down below. I'm excited for this. Clancy Brown is in here too. I mean, damn, Clancy Brown is, he's a hardworking man. A hardworking man. Lately, as of lately, he's been a hard worker. He was in Gen V. Those reactions are on the channel. He was in John Wick Chapter 4, and now he's in this, I believe in. You know, he's still, I believe, he's still doing Sponge, Spongebob. I think he is. But yeah, hardworking man, Clancy Brown. Just as hard of a worker as our main guy, Colin Farrell. I'm excited for this. Are you? Sound off in the comments down below. I'll catch you guys in the next reaction video. Thank you guys for reeling in this trailer reaction to The Penguin. Peace. I got you!